What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Now yesterday I got a comment on yesterday's video about a gentleman who says he wish he wasn't short. All the girls in the gym are taller than him, all the guys in the gym are taller than him and he feels like it's holding him back and what should he do? Now if you've ever said to yourself I wish I wasn't short or if you've ever said to yourself I wish I wasn't this thing and it's something that you can't change about yourself then you need to listen to this video because that is a loser's mindset and it's holding you back and it's preventing you from becoming the best version of yourself. Now full disclosure, I'm six foot three. I've been six foot three since I was about 14 years old, okay? So I don't know what it feels like to be a short man, but I do know very well what it feels like to want to change things about yourself that you can't change. Because for most of my life, I was focused on wanting to change things that were never gonna change, okay? I was focused on the wrong things. I was focused on all the things I didn't have and I was completely oblivious to all the things that I did have. You know, I was focused on, oh, you know, why I've been born into a family and living paycheck to paycheck. Why don't I have this thing? Why don't I have that thing? And I never got anywhere until I started focusing on all the things that I do have. And the most important, um, thing that I want you to understand is that you don't have a height problem. You have a mindset problem. You don't have a height problem, you have a mindset problem. Now what does that mean? Well, if you believe that your height puts you at a disadvantage, girls don't notice you, guys don't respect you, and you're not, uh, you're not gonna be as successful as you could be because of your height, then that will be true because your beliefs create your reality. Whereas if you believe that okay, your height is, you're not the tallest person, but it's not gonna stop you, and because you're not the tallest person, you're gonna make up for it in other areas, and you're still gonna become the strongest, best version of yourself, then guess what? You will be. So, the first thing you need to do is quit that mindset. Quit that loser's mindset, and just focus on the variables that you can control. Because whether you are a short man or a tall man, the game is the same. We've still got to get rich. We've still got to get jacked. We've still got to have style and learn how to talk to women and be funny and charismatic and dress well and be well connected. Like regardless of whether you're short or tall, the game is the same. So focusing on that height, which to be honest, it makes like a 1% difference. It makes a 1% difference, if that. You can easily just make up for that in other areas. Now, step number one would be get jacked, okay? Because and actually, this is a, a, a benefit of being uh, short, is it's much easier for you to get jacked because it takes less muscle to fill out your frame. Like if you imagine my arm here, this, the taller you are, the longer your limbs are and the longer this part is. But if you're shorter, then you need to build less muscle to build like a, a strong bicep and it works the same for the rest of your body. So instead of focusing on your height as a disadvantage, what if you viewed it as an advantage? What if you viewed it as a motivating factor? What if you used it to drive you to become better in other areas because you, the height you can't change about yourself? And I got a good example of this, like one of my first girlfriends, her dad was extremely successful, one of the most successful people that I've probably got the chance to sit down with and had, have a conversation. And he was also very short, okay? And do you think he let his height affect him? Obviously not. Did it drive him to become like super successful and super rich and stuff? Obviously, obviously it was a driving factor. So just because you view your height right now as a disadvantage doesn't mean it have to stay like that. You can use it for motivation. You can use it for drive. You can use it to motivate yourself to level up the other areas that you do have control over because the game is the same. now. Once you fix your mindset, you gotta get in the gym and you gotta get looking good. Regardless of whether you're short or tall, you need a good physique. It is like one of the most important things as a man is to be looking good and have a good physique. Now don't get so jacked that you're like square. <laughs> you know, that's not a good look. But get jacked, get lean, get the muscles popping. Okay, if you're rich and you're jacked, 90% of your problems are solved as a guy. 90% learn how to fight as well if you're rich and you're jacked and you can defend yourself well like 99 95% of problems are solved so that's what I would focus on is if 
And another thing, actually, is there are many things that I still have these thoughts that pop into my head now. Like, I make these videos and I watch it back and I'm like, oh, I don't like how my voice is. Or I don't like this thing. Or I don't like that thing. If I had that mindset, okay, I would never make these videos. And it would stop me from doing something which I know can take me further. And it's the same goes for you, is if you have this mindset about your height or about something else, it's going to stop you from doing the actions which is going to take you further and help you progress to get to where you want to go in life. And that is why you want to stop with this mindset. You don't have a height problem, you have a mindset problem. If you fix your mindset, you'll change your life because you'll then focus on the things that you do have. We're all born with advantages, okay? We're all born with things. Um, like if you're able to listen to this video right now, you have an advantage over a lot of people who unfortunately are born deaf. You know, if you have all four limbs, we're extremely lucky. If you're bought, born speaking English, that is a massive advantage. Okay, so focus on your advantages. Focus on your strengths because we all have them. And if you focus on your strengths and you play game, you play the game of life to your strengths and you level up the areas which you deem like which are important for a man, your height will make zero difference whatsoever. So that's it for this video. Hope it helps. I'll talk to you in the next one.